Pros and cons of standing desks. Pro, improves ability to talk about having a standing desk. Facts, the onion is a satirical news source. Satirical, it's a joke. It pokes fun at us humans. We need to laugh and smile more and not take the onion seriously. Cause I've seen some people tweet out onion headlines, shocked as if they were true articles. Beep -boop. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. But a disturbing report today has revealed that the now infamous immunologist may actually just be a figment of the nation's collective imagination. Hear more about how millions of Americans are all having the same exact hallucinations of the so-called Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Honestly, Dr. Fauci is that good that he could totally be a hallucination. Do you know why I know he's not a hallucination? Because I actually interviewed him. Dr. Mike, how are you? First of all, let me say a huge thank you for joining us uh, on the YouTube channel. Everyone in the YouTube community really appreciate you. Doctor informs woman she pregnant as hell. I don't even think this is a real doctor. What is happening here? What is this false identification little loose leaf paper he has here with no name. And that's a disposable stethoscope, folks. Why is he wearing it? Why is there no name tag? Why does he have a laser pointer? This is not a person you should trust. Pros and cons of standing desks. Pro, improves ability to talk about having a standing desk. Facts, two most common conversations I have with patients, those who are vegan about them being vegan and those who have a stand-up desk and wanna tell me about their stand-up desk. Encourage more natural spinal curvature while staring at screen for eight continuous hours. Increase blood flow to your feet where your best thinking <laughs> <laughs> is done, that's funny. One step closer toward the ultimate dream of flying desks. <sighs> Cod could wind up forgetting how to sit entirely. <laughs> Eliminate satisfaction of leaning back in your chair with your hands behind your head after sending a killer email. Ooh, that feels good. <sighs> You'll still eventually die. Yeah, that's true. Doctors warn Marshawn Lynch that the next time he goes into beast mode, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on beast mode right now for this YouTube channel. I see this misinformation and I'm just going beast me and Marshawn. Cubs team doctor recommends Anthony Rizzo rehab injured ankle by engaging in light physical activities. Like baseball. Professional athletes are professional athletes. But baseball is the definition of a sedentary activity. Running around the bases should be totally fine and is actually a great way to rebuild strength. There is actually really good exercises that you can do to rehab an ankle that are not baseball. And a lot of them are about regaining your range of motion. And then it's about regaining your stability. The ligament that is most often injured is called the anterior talofibular ligament. And because of that, when you step forward, you can uh, lose some of that uh, stability and you could fall forward. Beyonce begins painful surgical transformation to prepare for her role in live action Lion King remake. Once the radical alteration to her bones, musculature, and skin are completed, you won't even be able to tell that the big old cat you're looking on screen is actually Beyonce. The process would begin with breaking and readjusting the pop star's spinal column and pelvic bones to allow her to comfortably walk quadruple Never said that word publicly before. There's commitment to acting, and then there's becoming a real lion. And somewhere there needs to be a medical line that should not be crossed. Sick man slowly becoming enthroned in used tissue. <laughs> Must be soft and comfy, but kind of gross because it's mucusy at the same time. Local woman considers telling gynecologist whole truth. Local woman Denise Bowers was mentally calculating the precise amount of information she would have to divulge in order to obtain powerful prescription antibiotics. Patients want to divulge as least amount of information to get what they think is the accurate treatment. That is why whenever a patient comes into my office, in addition to asking them questions about their symptoms, their history, and doing a physical exam, I also ask them at the end of every visit, what is their theory? What do they think is going on? Because if they leave my office unsatisfied or without truly getting an answer to the question that's deep in here, I'm not doing my job as a doctor. I'm Barry Bigwell, and today we're talking Rob Gronkowski. After missing most of the 2013 season with injuries, the loose assemblage of screws, splintered bones, and mangled joints that make up the Patriots' tight end <laughs> I love is this placed image. for a massive comeback. There are a lot of questions surrounding Gronk this fantasy football season, but I say ride that creature to the end. <laughs> I feel like Rob Gronkowski is truly a bionic man at this point, not because his surgeries and fixes that he's had, but he just doesn't go down. I remember in the Entourage movie, he's like partying with a, a crutch and he has, like, 
an injured uh, arm, like a broken arm, and he's like still partying. I feel like my shoulder gets sore, like I don't want to get out of bed. Rob Gronkowski's like, let's go take some hits! A study finds healthy lifestyle can cut risk of developing Alzheimer's by 60%. I'm getting sick of researchers expecting me to do things when they should be the ones coming up with cures. People must really hate Alzheimer's if they're willing to live a healthy long life to avoid it. So you're saying there's nothing I can do? <laughs> In order for us to find cures, we need to figure out what we can do first and then figure out the mechanism, thereby reducing that risk, thereby being able to implement the cure or treatment. You dig? Latest study finds cancer cells now cruelly mocking researchers. A new Mayo Clinic study with widespread implications for the treatment of potential cure of the disease has found that the malignant growths are basically flipping off scientists left and right and get a huge kick out of mocking oncologists feel like a bunch of bumbling chumps. I would love if when oncologists or pathologists are looking under the microscope to see if like the treatments are working and the malignant cells are just sitting there like, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Real headline, doctors edit living patients DNA for first time. I'm just worried about the moral considerations of helping sick people, Greg Paulson. Is a window defroster a career? It will be a great day when all doctors can defy God's plan like this. I feel like that's a Drake lyric. The field of injecting things never stops advancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We like injecting stuff. Injection. True headline, FDA set to approve gene altering cancer treatment. The FDA is expected to approve a new leukemia treatment that alters a patient's cells to target cancer cells with hope it could someday fight other types of cancer too. What do you think? I would only alter my genes to become more powerful, not less sick. <laughs> So you pay for some fancy treatment, but it's your body doing the actual work? What a scam. All of medicine is your body doing the work. Literally, unless I'm actively doing a surgical procedure to fix something and put it together, it's their body doing the work. In fact, when a surgeon connects things, we don't even connect it all the way. We usually just like kind of line it up and let the body heal itself anyway. Insurance only covers generic heart transplant. My doctor says it should work exactly the same as any other heart. It has the same valve, same ventricle, same everything. Aside from lacking any branding, the heart he's receiving is essentially identical to the more expensive ones. Frankly, as long as it keeps on beating, I don't care where it's from. This is a play on generic medications. Yes, generic medications are the same as the branded ones. When you go in to buy aspirin and you're like, can I get Bayer? You're still paying for aspirin. When you say Bayer, that's a company, that's a brand, but you don't have to buy the brand to get the aspirin. Same thing with acetaminophen. Tylenol is the brand name of that. Dr. Dilshot Atwal and I, who's an interventional pain medicine doctor, looked at memes together. He struggled. It's worth a watch. Check it out here. And if you didn't see the previous episode of my Onion Medical Reviews, click here for that episode as well. And as always, stay happy and healthy.